you are watching channel number collage through this channel we take sincere efforts to make you understand and like mathematics in a simple and easy manner in this video we will understand an instant method of generating trigonometric values of specific angles 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 0 degrees and 90 degrees for this shortcut method a prerequisite is a perfect knowledge of trigonometric ratios so let us revise our knowledge of trigonometric ratios so we have a right triangle abc angle c is theta degrees the side opposite to theta degrees is ab side adjacent to theta degrees is bc side opposite to angle 90 degrees is hypotenuse so with the help of these three sides we will write trigonometric ratios sin theta equals opposite side divided by hypotenuse cosec theta is reciprocal of sin theta so cosec theta will be hypotenuse divided by opposite side cos theta is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse sec theta is reciprocal of cos theta so it will be hypotenuse divided by adjacent side tan theta is opposite side divided by adjacent side cot theta is reciprocal of tan theta so it will be adjacent side divided by opposite side now we will write trigonometric values of angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees we have a 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree right triangle abc we write side opposite to 30 degrees ab equals 1 side opposite to 60 degrees bc equals root 3 and hypotenuse ac equals 2 now we check whether these values are correct we use pythagoras so ab squared plus bc squared will be ab squared will be 1 squared which is 1 bc squared will be root 3 squared which is 3 1 plus 3 will be 4 now ac squared will be 2 squared which is 4 so this 4 equals this 4 hence these values are correct values now we know the three sides of this right triangle so we can write six trigonometric values of angle 30 degrees and six trigonometric values of angle 60 degrees so this triangle alone gives us 12 trigonometric values so first we will write trigonometric values of angle 30 degrees sin 30 is opposite side divided by hypotenuse cosec 30 is reciprocal of sin 30 so it will be 2 divided by 1 which will be 2 cos 30 is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse sec 30 is reciprocal of cos 30 so it will be 2 divided by root 3 tan 30 is opposite side divided by adjacent side cot 30 is reciprocal of tan 30 so it will be root 3 divided by 1 now we will write trigonometric values of angle 60 degrees so sin 60 is opposite side divided by hypotenuse which is root 3 divided by 2 cosec 60 is reciprocal of sin 60 so it will be 
2 divided by root 3 cos 60 will be adjacent side divided by hypotenuse sec 60 is reciprocal of cos 60 so it will be 2 divided by 1 which is 2 tan 60 is opposite side divided by adjacent side that is root 3 divided by 1 which will be root 3 cot 60 is reciprocal of tan 60 so it will be reciprocal of root 3 which will be 1 divided by root 3 now we will write trigonometric values of angle 45 degrees we have a 45 degrees 45 degrees 90 degrees right triangle which is also an isosceles right triangle the sides opposite to 40 degrees are one each and the hypotenuse is root 2 let us check if these values are correct so according to pythagoras ab squared plus bc squared will be 1 squared plus 1 squared that is 2 and ac squared is root 2 squared which is 2 so this 2 equals this 2 hence the values are correct now we have all the three sides of this right triangle so we can write six trigonometric values of 45 degrees so sin 45 equals opposite side divided by hypotenuse that is 1 divided by root 2 cosec 45 is reciprocal of sin 45 so it will be root 2 divided by 1 which will be root 2 cos 45 is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse which is 1 divided by root 2 sec 45 is reciprocal of cos 45 so it will be root 2 divided by 1 which is root 2 so sec 45 is root 2 tan 45 is opposite side divided by adjacent side that is 1 divided by 1 which is 1 so tan 45 degrees is 1 we write trigonometric values of angle 0 degrees we have a right triangle abc and we have sin a equals opposite side divided by hypotenuse that is bc divided by ac now we will reduce angle bac step wise and finally make it zero so in the next step we reduce angle bac to bac1 which becomes a1 and sin a1 is bc1 divided by ac1 in the next step we reduce angle b a c1 to angle b a c2 which is a2 and we write sin a2 equals b c2 divided by a c2 in the next step we reduce angle b a c2 to angle b a c3 which is a3 and we write sin a3 equals b c3 divided by a c3 and finally we reduce angle b a c3 to 0 degrees and write it 0 degrees so that point c0 and b become one and the same and we write sin 0 degrees equals b c0 divided by a c0 b c0 are one and the same points so this distance will be 0 a c0 is ab so it will be 0 divided by ab which is 0 so 
sin 0 degrees is 0 in this right triangle cos a equals adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is ab divided by ac in the next step when we reduce angle bac to bac1 it becomes a1 and we write cos a1 equals ab divided by ac1 in the next step we write cos a2 equals ab divided by ac2 in the next step we write cos a3 equals ab divided by ac3 and finally when we reduce angle a3 to 0 degrees we write cos 0 degrees equals ab divided by ac0 now ac0 and ab are of the same length because point c0 and b are one and the same so we write ab divided by ab which will be 1 so we get cos 0 degrees equals 1 we write trigonometric values of angle 90 degrees we have a right triangle abc where sin a equals opposite side divided by hypotenuse that is bc divided by ac now we will slowly increase angle BAC in steps by moving point A towards B and finally make angle BAC equals 90 degrees so in the next step we write we increase angle BAC to angle BA1C which is A1 and sin A1 equals BC divided by A1C In the next step, we increase angle BA1C to angle BA2C which is A2 and we write sin A2 equals BC divided by A2C. In the next step, we increase angle BA2C to angle BA3C which is a3 and sin a3 equals bc divided by a3c and finally we make point a and b one and the same and we call it a90 so here b and a90 are one and the same points and the angle b a90C is 90 degrees. We write sin 90 degrees equals BC divided by BC. BC divided by A90C which is BC itself. So BC divided by BC becomes 1. So we get sin 90 degrees equals 1 cos a equals adjacent side divided by hypotenuse that is ab divided by ac in the next step cos a1 becomes a1b divided by a1c In the next step, cos A2 becomes A2B divided by A2C. In the next step, cos A3 becomes A3B divided by A3C. And finally, when angle B A 3 C becomes 90 degrees 
angle we write cos 90 degrees equals a 90 degrees b divided by a 90 degrees c a 90 degrees b will be 0 because a 90 and b points are one and the same a 90 degrees c becomes bc so it will be 0 divided by bc which is 0 so we get cos 90 degrees equals 0 we have found out sine and cos values of 0 degrees and 90 degree angles and we observe that sine 0 degrees equals cos 90 degrees equals 0 and sine 90 degrees equals cos 0 degrees equals 1. Now with the help of these two relationships we will write trigonometric values of the remaining ratios of angle 0 degrees and 90 degrees. First we will write the trigonometric values of angle 0 degrees. Cosec 0 is reciprocal of sin 0 but sin 0 is 0. So 1 divided by 0 is undefined because we cannot divide by 0. So we have cosec 0 is undefined. Sec 0 is reciprocal of cos 0 but cos 0 is 1. So it will be 1 divided by 1 which is 1. So sec 0 degrees is 1. Tan 0 is sin 0 divided by cos 0. Sin 0 is 0 and cos 0 is 1. So we get 0 divided by 1 which is 0. So tan 0 is 0. Cot 0 is 1 divided by tan 0 because cot 0 and tan 0 are reciprocals of each other but tan 0 is 0 1 divided by 0 is undefined because we cannot divide by 0 so cot 0 is undefined now we will write trigonometric values of angle 90 degrees cosec 90 and sin 90 are reciprocals of each other but sin 90 is 1 so it will be 1 divided by 1 which is 1 so cosec 90 is 1 sec 90 and cos 90 are reciprocals of each other but cos 90 is 0 so 1 divided by 0 becomes undefined because we cannot divide by 0 so sec 90 is undefined tan 90 is sin 90 divided by cos 90 sin 90 is 1 cos 90 is 0 so 1 divided by 0 is undefined because we cannot divide by 0 so tan 90 is undefined cot 90 is cos 90 divided by sin 90 cos 90 is 0 sin 90 is 1 so we get 0 divided by 1 is 0 so cot 90 is 0 we come back to our shortcut method of instantly generating trigonometric values of 30 degrees 45 degrees 60 degrees 0 degrees and 90 degree angles all we need is a 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree right triangle with side opposite to 30 degrees 1 side opposite to 60 degrees root 3 and hypotenuse 2 this triangle gives us six trigonometric values of 30 degree angle 
and six trigonometric values of 60 degrees angle. That is, this triangle gives us in all 12 trigonometric values. We have a 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 90 degree right triangle, which is also an isosceles right triangle with equal sides, one each and hypotenuse root two. So this right triangle gives us six trigonometric values of angle 45 degrees. Then we have sine zero equals cos 90 equals zero, sine 90 equals cos zero equals one. These two relationships give us six trigonometric values of angle zero degrees and six trigonometric values of angle 90 degrees. So these two relationships give us 12 trigonometric values. So this triangle gives us 12 trigonometric values. This triangle gives us six trigonometric values that is total 18 values and these two relationships 12 trigonometric values. So in all these two triangles and these two relationships give us 30 trigonometric values but for that we must have basic knowledge of writing trigonometric ratios about which we have already seen but let's again revise it. Sin theta is opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta is adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Tan theta is opposite side divided by adjacent side. Cosec theta is hypotenuse divided by opposite side. Sec theta is hypotenuse divided by adjacent side. Cot theta is adjacent side divided by opposite side. And two more relationships for these two relations tan theta is sin theta divided by cos theta and cot theta equals cos theta divided by sin theta. We will use shortcut method to evaluate sin 60 cos 30 plus sin 30 cos 60. We will draw a 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree right triangle. We write side opposite to 30 degrees 1 side opposite to 60 degrees root 3 and hypotenuse 2. With the help of these three values, we will write sin 60 equals root 3 divided by 2. Cos 30 equals root 3 divided by 2. Sin 30 equals 1 half and cos 60 equals 1 half. Now we will substitute these values in the expression for sin 60 we write root 3 divided by 2 cos 60 we write root 3 divided by 2 plus sin 30 1 half cos 60 1 half root 3 multiplied by root 3 will be 3 2 multiplied by 2 will be 4 1 2 multiplied by 2 will be 4 since the denominator in is same we will add the numerator so it becomes 4 divided by 4 which is 1. So the value of this expression is 1. Evaluate 2 tan square 45 plus cos square 30 minus sin square 60. We will use shortcut method to evaluate this expression. We have 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree right triangle. We write side opposite to 30 degrees 1 side opposite to 60 degrees root 3 and hypotenuse 2. With the help of these three sides, we will write trigonometric values of cos 30 and sin 60. 
we have a 45 degree 45 degree 90 degree right triangle with two equal sides one each and the hypotenuse root 2 with the help of these three sides we can find the value of tan 45 so first 2 tan square 45 will be 2 times tan 45 is 1 divided by 1 which will be 1 so 1 squared will be 1 so 2 multiplied by 1 will be 2 so 2 tan square 45 is 2 cos square 30 will be root 3 divided by 2 whole square root 3 squared will be 3 2 squared will be 4 So cos square 30 will be 3 divided by 4. Sin square 60 will be root 3 divided by 2 whole square. Sin 60 will be root 3 divided by 2. Root 3 squared will be 3. 2 squared will be 4. So sin square 60 will be 3 divided by 4. Now we will substitute these values in this expression and evaluate. We write the expression first. For 2 tan square 45, we will put 2. For cos square 30, we will put 3 divided by 4. And for sin square 60, we will use 3 divided by 4. 3 divided by 4 minus 3 divided by 4 will be 0. So our answer will be 2. We will use shortcut method to evaluate. cos 45 divided by sec 30 plus cos 30 for finding trigonometric values of 30 degrees we will draw a 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree right triangle and write side opposite to 30 degrees 1 side opposite to 60 degrees root 3 and hypotenuse 2 so with the help of these three sides we can write trigonometric ratios of sec 30 and cosec 30 for finding cos 45 we will draw a 45 degree 45 degree 90 degree right triangle with two equal sides one each and hypotenuse root 2 now we will write cos 45 equals 1 divided by root 2 sec 30 will be 2 divided by root 3 cosec 30 will be 2 divided by 1 which will be 2 so we have cos 45 1 divided by root 2 sec 30 2 divided by root 3 and cosec 30 2 so we will substitute these values in this expression and evaluate So for cos 45 we will put 1 divided by root 2 sec 30 2 divided by root 3 and cosec 30 2 we will add this up it will be 2 plus 2 multiplied by root 3 2 root 3 divided by root 3 now dividing by 2 plus 2 root 3 divided by root 3 is same as multiplying by reciprocal of this so it will be 1 divided by root 2 multiplied by reciprocal of this will be root 3 divided by by taking two common we will write 2 here and 2 divided by 2 1 2 divided by 2 1 here and root 3 now we will write this 1 divided by 2 separately at the same time we will multiply numerator and denominator by the rationalizing factor of 1 plus root 3 or conjugate of 1 plus root 3 which is 1 minus root 3 so 1 minus root 3 divided by 1 minus root 3 we will multiply numerator and denominator separately 
so root 3 multiplied by 1 will be root 3 root 3 multiplied by root 3 will be 3 1 plus root 3 multiplied by 1 minus root 3 will be 1 squared which is 1 and minus root 3 whole squared which will be 3 now here 1 minus 3 will be minus 2 we will absorb this minus sign in the numerator and write the numerator as 3 minus root 3 that is in the reverse order of this and 1 minus 3 which was minus 2 now has become 2 so it will be 3 minus root 3 2 twos are 4 divided by 4 root 2. So 3 minus root 3 divided by 4 root 2 is the answer of evaluation. If tan a plus b equals root 3 and tan a minus b equals 1 divided by root 3 and a plus b is acute or it lies between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. and a is greater than or equal to b we have to find a and b here tan a plus b is root 3 and tan a minus b is 1 divided by root 3 so since the values involve 1 and root 3 we will draw a 30 degree 60 degree 90 degree right triangle with the sides 1 root 3 and 2 now tan a plus b is root 3 but we know from this triangle that tan 60 is root 3 therefore tan a plus b equals tan 60 because the right hand side is same which implies that a plus b equals 60 tan a minus b equals 1 divided by root 3 but tan 30 is 1 divided by root 3 so therefore since the right hand side is equal we can write tan a minus b equals tan 30 so which implies a minus b equals 30 degrees now we will solve these two linear equations in two variables we will add these two equations a plus a will be 2a b minus b will be 0 and 60 plus 30 will be 90 so a will be 45 degrees and since a is 45 degrees and a plus b is 60 it means that b will be 60 minus 45 that is 15 degrees so we have a equals 45 degrees and b equals 15 degrees so this is about the shortcut method of recalling or generating trigonometric values whenever they are required hope you like this video If you did please click the like button subscribe this channel to watch more videos on mathematics thanks for watching have a nice day